Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Drinks with Martins on Friday, Black Friday. We didn't do one yesterday as scheduled because it was Thanksgiving, of course. Well, happy Thanksgiving to everybody in the U.S. Um, yeah, so we're tonight's just gonna be us. Ian's out. He's got plans with friends. So talk about whatever. We don't really have any topics for tonight. Um, we figured it was just gonna be us hanging out, just Better hanging out with it. you guys talking. Um, we'll just wing it. Yeah, I mean, we can wing it. We can bring up topics that, that we saw today or if you guys have any topics you guys want us to look up and talk about, we can definitely do that too. We can share what we have for drinks. Yes. What are you drinking today? I am drinking a little experiment. Okay. Uh, so it's um, Apple Crown. Very nice. Thank you for the subscribe. Viejo. So I've got Apple crown and then i did a little bit of cranberry juice and then i did a little bit of like a lime spritzer and then i added ginger beer nice show so much right so to Got make like this a little bit color. fancier for your holiday parties instead of doing ice you can do frozen cranberries and it'll keep the drink cold and it won't water it down oh uh, that's a good idea that's i just didn't have there. any like frozen cranberries to put in here so i just put ice on it i had bunch was it bunch bunch crema bunch crema bunch crema what is ponche what is, crema? What is ponche crema? I've never heard of ponche crema. So explain to us what that is. I, I have no clue. In layman's terms, I'm sure. <laughs> um, it sounds. I mean, it sounds like some kind of a cream, like a cream. cream right. Cream. Is it like so, um? Is it like an eggnog? Is it like a coquito? The coquito that they make, the Cuba, uh -huh. the Cuban or the Puerto Rican. Well, we've had Cuban coquito and I've had Puerto Rican. Coquito, because I have some friends from Puerto Rico. I think a mojito, but let's see. Oh, so it's like eggnog. So it's like eggnog. It's Venezuelan eggnog is the way they describe it. Would that be accurate? Venezuelan eggnog? It sounds really good. Well, you like eggnog. I like eggnog. I'm down for that 100%. But my drink tonight is as simple as can be. Orange juice and vodka and ice. That's it. Screwdriver. <laughs> yep. Screwdriver. Based in milk. Based in milk and rum. Nice. Okay, cool. Well, we'll have to try that. I got my glasses. Well, I found, no, I found these fun glasses from last Christmas. <laughs> no screenshots, guys. No clips. Do not clip this. We don't need this on the internet. Talk about like holiday gadgets. Like everywhere I'm seeing right now, like, you know, when I look up gifts for friends, family members, you know, whatever, yeah. I've been seeing a lot of people want headsets like really good headsets. Oh, so yeah. my thing is, is for somebody like me, who's not really familiar, like we have what the HyperX ones, yep. those are the ones that I'm familiar with, but there's so many other brands out there, you know, that maybe, maybe we could give some people tips on what is a good buy, what's not a good buy, maybe some good brands that have withstanded the test of time, you know, that actually have been good, good gear versus some that have crapped out after like six months. Yeah. Um. And there's quite a few of them out there. There's a ton right now, everywhere I've been looking. Sorry, my mom was texting me. Um, <laughs> exclamation clip. I don't know that that works, but. <laughs> I don't think he set it up this time, guys. So you're out of luck. You are out of luck. We need to figure out how to make the bot do that. Cause I would like that in my chat, in my chat alone. I'm I just to set up my, my, um. So we're not my streaming channel. yet. How I'm much streaming is? today, probably not tomorrow because we finally got all of our new assets. And so we're gonna go ahead and get those set up and then we're gonna stream. I want her to play the new WoW expansion because I just want to see it. I and I do want to play it, but I got to get all my assets put on my Twitch. So when you see it, it's gonna be like a big reveal, like a big ta-da. So there's some called um, Bengu. <laughs> Never heard of them. Exactly. They're like 9.8 is like the score. That's what I'm saying. Like, so ben I think and then these are like Swedish. I can't even pronounce that. I think a lot of these headset reviews that they have out there are paid. are paid. Because they want to sell their game and they look really cool. Like they look like really cool gaming headsets, but they're they're not a brand that I've ever heard of. So yeah. a lot of maybe a lot of moms out there that are trying to get like a nice headset for their kids. Sorry, that was me. Flathead um, single Phillips equals double vodka. But you know, like a lot of moms out there or even wives that want to get their significant other a nice headset because they know that they're gamers or into gaming. 
they might buy this product and it yeah. turns out to be crap, it's, you know? And garbage. we don't want that to happen to our viewers out there. We want you guys to be able to buy good gear and it's going to last and it's actually going to be, you can use it. I mean, the HyperXs that we have are super comfortable. I love mine. They fit yeah. really nice on my ears. They don't hurt my head. And I went with these because I didn't want to spend $300 on the Alphas. And that's wrong. what I tried on. I've tried on the Alphas. I think it's the Alpha. No, is it Alpha? No. We Astros. saw them. Astros. The Astros. Astros A50s, I think. Yeah, I've tried those on. Those are the ones that I wanted to buy, but they're 300 bucks a piece. Um, and you know what? Also, GB, DGB, this was just like a pour. I didn't even measure. I just poured until I thought it was here to go. I was like... A quarter cup maybe or half a cup of half a half of this glass probably so maybe two shots yeah I have this but that's why that's why Ian wanted to do the um uh the video review stuff that he wanted to get in so maybe we we're gonna add that segment to our show I think like it's a, a great quick, idea quick five ten minute review rundown of like these things and like hey this is what you know Ian's looked at and these are gonna be things that he's actually gonna bought and have it in his hand in his possession and be like hey this is really good i bought this one and i can compare it to the, this one because i also have this one right um and they're not going to be provided items either so it is a phillips screwdriver then yeah probably definitely um oh, you know what's crazy your middle name is philip yeah it is <laughs> um, it fits perfect but no i, I mean i think it'll be like those kind of reviews we need more of. I feel like a lot of these reviews that are out there, it's like, hey, here's a review, but I actually don't own the product, but I'm reviewing it based on the specs. If the specs are right, it's gonna be this good. And then they get it and it's like, this thing is not good. It's not good at no, all. And we've gotten faulty stuff before that yeah. we've looked at the reviews and we're like, oh, it says it does this, this, and this. And then we get it and we're like, what is it broken? Yeah, I mean, there's a few things that I've gotten. It's like, oh, dimmable lights, and you get them in, and you're like, no, they're not dimmable at all. Not at all. Let me go ahead and return these. And so, and then you return them, and you go look at reviews, and you're like, all these people are like, yeah, these are not dimmable, even though it says dimmable, they're not dimmable. And uh, um, yeah, I mean, there's just all kinds of things like that. I think uh, it'd be good because everybody's everybody's shopping now. Yes. Because Thanksgiving is over. Black They're probably Friday. done shopping because Cyber Monday. Cyber Monday is really good though. Oh yeah, there's Cyber Monday. Um, we did some shopping before all the discounts, and stuff, which is fine. A lot of stuff that we bought isn't going to be on Black Friday special anyway. So. That's because people get paid twenty five dollar gift cards for five star reviews on Amazon. They do. They do. Uh, or you get free products. You get mm -hmm. free gear, free stuff. It's like, hey, come do a five star review, and we'll give you free, free stuff. What's up, Joe? Hey, Joe. How's it going? Um. Yeah, and that's that's a fact, you know. That's that's a hundred percent a fact. Like these these people, they get paid to give reviews, and it sucks because then you get these products. And you're like, oh, Al, it's got a four point five review out of two hundred, and it's like, yeah, it's not good. A hundred of these were paid views reviews, you know, and so it's like kind of sucks. But um, yeah, I kind of gotten to the point where I expect the quality of products today that we get not to be good at all. No, you know. And Me so, and the lights that we bought for the backyard. Yeah. To keep blowing the fuse. Yeah, and that those, yeah. We had those a year, too. Not even a year. Not even a year. Six months. Yeah, and they're already done. And then we ordered new ones. Brand new out of the box. Plug them in. Boom. Boom. Fuse blows. I'm like, not the outlet, because we checked that. So it's every single thing that I read about those lights say that that's common. That the fuse will blow. And I'm like, yeah. what's the point? Like, what? what I grab buy these. Well, I grabbed a set of Christmas lights mm -hmm. and plugged them in. And they were fine. And it worked great. So and I think so... we're just going to put Christmas lights in the backyard, which is fine because we have tons of strands of Christmas lights that we're not going to put in our house. No, oh, he's on his phone because he just uh, got everything moved. Joe's in the middle of moving. And uh, so his Wi-Fi is set up at his new house, but not at his old house. So it's all good. You'll get in that new place. We'll get some more zone in. Then you guys uh, get can some wins. hang out. We got a seventh today, seventh place. That's really good. We couldn't get a win. We only played three games, but um, seventh place isn't bad. Did all right. Juan was confused. He's a little lost because uh, me and Viejo just kept going through and just calling call outs. And Juan was like, "I I don't, I don't know what that means." <laughs> it's like, it was good. It was bro. like it that was crazy good. inspector that showed up at my work. Yeah. Literally walked in the door and just said, I'm here for one Bravo, one Charlie, one Delta. And like, I knew what that meant. Everybody else like, kind of turned and looked at me like, 
what? Yeah. I'm like, 1B, 1C, 1D permits? Yeah. They're like, well, bro, Delta, Charlie, who, what, <laughs> who are you? Confused. <laughs> Confused. I'm like, yeah, well. Nomenclatures, you know. man. Nomenclatures are. Military yeah. life. I got used to hearing it, so. Um. But yeah, we. Uh, Sorry, Thanksgiving was good. Yeah, we had a good Thanksgiving. We uh, did not follow the rules. We had a Friendsgiving. We had a very small group of friends. Very like, small Friendsgivings. I think it was maybe like seven people total. Maybe well, what? not including kids. Not including kids. There was seven. Seven people, but it was everybody that we know. Yep. And one of them and literally was, works yeah. next to me. Like we share a desk, so I know that that person's good to go because that person literally just doesn't. And that one friend who was a frontline, uh, frontline worker, she's a nurse, got mm -hmm. tested to make sure for us. And she was negative. She was negative so she was so good. Was like, and then was the good. other person that joined us, um, his wife works from home and he works as a safety manager for the company that I work with. And so it's, you know, we yeah. were very cautious at work and we've had knock on wood zero cases. So it's it was been, fun uh, though having the kids hang out. Like they had a blast. Yeah. They um they went upstairs and played Beat Saber on the VR. Uh we all hung out in the pool. Which is kind of crazy to think that on Thanksgiving we went in the pool. Like we all got in the pool. We, we all did. went to the jacuzzi and kind of hung out and had some drinks. It was a lot of fun. Just it was more like hanging out, chit chatting. It was good. And we used to do Friendsgiving every year in Ve when we lived in Vegas for a lot of um, the guys and girls that were in the military that didn't have family. So they would all come over and have Thanksgiving at our house. And so it was kind of just, it was nice to bring back that tradition that we had for so many years. Um, I, my, good. my favorite part was that we got to get in the pool. Um, he did pool <laughs> end of November. It was like 60 degrees outside. It was 90 in the jacuzzi. And it was 90, 95, 98. I think at one point it got to 99. Yeah, it was the 90. pool was 80. I heated the pool up to 80. Yeah. And then we had the jacuzzi sitting at 95, 96. It was so, so nice. It was it was wild though because I got in the jacuzzi, sat in there for what like half an hour maybe, mm -hmm. and then I got out and I was just like super sore. I was like, I think it's because you finally relaxed. Man, am I sore? And I just want you. You kept looking at me like, you okay, you know, you're gonna pass out of there. I'm like tired. exhausted. I was like, all of a sudden I just got super exhausted. And I was super sore. I was ready to go to sleep. And props it was like to eight o'clock, uh, right? <laughs> yeah, props to Tin Roof. I mean, if you guys don't know, if you're from Houston, the Houston area, there's a barbecue joint. It's a local joint. It's been here for over 20 years called Tin Roof Barbecue. They basically, like, we bought everything from them. The smoked turkey, all the sides and stuff. It was amazing. It was they supplied, in line for an hour. Yeah, they supplied 300 families mm -hmm. turkey dinners this year. And it feels good to help so, a local business, a small yeah. business out here. And they've always, they were helping at the beginning. Of yeah, COVID. They they've were always supported. Um, they've supported the high school teams. They have sandwiches named after every single high school mascot in the, in the Humble and Kingwood area. So... Um, they support the uh, fire department out here, police officers, they all eat free. I never Anytime even thought about go. that. My favorite sandwich there is the Mustang. And that's and the my mascot. <laughs> that's my mascot. That. Yeah, they have the um, Mustang, they have the Wildcat, they have cat, the, the uh, Eagle. Yeah, I never even thought about it. And it's that. all the mascots from all the high schools. Wait, they have the Panthers. I've been there and I've not been there. <laughs> That's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not that up. Time. He just did, you didn't pick it up. Rusted. Tan roof rusted. That <laughs> is pretty rusted in there. <laughs> it's an old joint. It's super old, but That's it's so cool. cool. It's such a cool little spot. I can't wait till like it's back to normal and go hang out on the patio and sit there and listen. So if you guys are in the Humble Kingwood area and you want to check out really good barbecue, they're closed on Mondays, but they're open Tuesdays through Sunday. Sunday, they close at 3 p.m. Support your uh, local small businesses within the area. And uh, hit up Tin Roof for some real good down home barbecue. Like, you yeah, hosted a Mustang sandwich has 500 horsepower of calories. <laughs> it's worth it though. It's the best brewski that I've had in such a long time. Uh, no, what you need to come here and have is the loaded baked potato. The chop baker. Yeah, the chop baker, right? Yeah. Potato. If is you got that, you know, you would you fall. When, when you come back to this side of town, we'll go there for, yeah. for dinner or lunch or something. It's worth and it. You'll get that, and it's gonna be you're you're gonna want to come a back. A chop baker and a nice cold shiner beer, yeah. and you're good to go. From what I understand, though, is Viejo and Juan. We're supposed to come up, come over to this side of town this weekend. I've, I haven't 
I haven't gotten any confirmation on that, but y'all confirm and come up here and hang out with us. So if you guys don't know, if you can see here, let me see if I can set this up. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna show them the shelves. I can't do it. I'm gonna break everything. So we got the shelves in, and there's a good story between behind those shelves. Mm -hmm. um, I just broke the whole setup. You're fine. Um, You're but fine. it works. I uh, I've been looking at getting those shelves for this back room from behind us for I don't know. What do you think? A year almost. Probably about a year. And finally, I was like, yo, can you stop by Ikea and pick up these shelves for me? And so he hooked us up big time. He's picked up the shelves and bought them for us. I need to get my, um, I need to get the apparel set up for Drinks with Martin so that people can order some yeah, shirts and jerseys. Looking... Sweatshirts. You had it in here the whole time. We need, to get, we need to have a, you know what we should have? We should have a... A design contest. Could you get back to the story? Because you totally went off track. No, I, I finished it. I finished the story about the shelves. That was it? Yeah. So he, he, bottom, he shut up. Hardcore and bottom. I form. thought it was supposed to be like a funny story. But... Yeah, I mean, well, the funny part is the fact that he, dropped, he delivered them in a Honda Civic. <laughs> <laughs> but I was going to leave that part out. But that was the funny part. Um, it would have a funny story if you would have left it out. I know. But, uh, it is a Honda Civic, and I thought it was a Type R, but it's actually an SI, which is a really, really sweet little car. Anyways, um, we should have a design contest. We should have a t-shirt design contest where you guys as guests and viewers and all that can design a t-shirt and then the winner gets like a $50 gift card or something. I mean, sure. Y'all want to make us some t-shirts? How cool would that be? And so- I mean, we got the original design from our daughter. Our daughter, yeah. And then let's have a design contest. She, she could put it on her mug. Too. And then we'll have a community vote on it. We'll have like a yep. vote on, on Twitter or something. We'll have a vote on Twitter. And then you guys can all vote on it and who wins the best design shirt design. So we'll, we'll do, we'll pick like the top four finalists that we like and mm -hmm. they go from there. I had fun going over there driving down 59 and 100 miles an hour. It was so worth it. Crazy. Yeah, because the, the, the little car chase that he was involved in, this dude hit this little guy. I on the news and I couldn't find it. So probably just didn't make the news, but. I mean, 90% of the news in Houston doesn't make the news. Um, but yeah, um, that'd be cool. I think that'd be really cool to have, to have our, you know, a new design, just a shirt design. And then maybe we can do it like periodically, like every quarter or something, come out with a new line every quarter. And, and part of that new line every quarter is somebody else's design. Right. Yeah. Who's going to talk about chapter 13 <laughs> what? first Mandalorian, bro. Bro, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Through, bro. I haven't even watched. It. We have we, we wait we, we wait for Friday. We wait Friday after because Friday night. Friday. Friday night we literally go to bed and that's what we watch is like we do yeah. like the Mandalorian and sometimes we'll watch the episode before it and then we'll watch the new one. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a Friday night is always Mandalorian. Friday night, lay down to bed, watch Mandalorian, drink some drinks. Mm hmm. Because the kids usually. DGB watches don't it. need as much help with us on on Friday nights. They kind of go do their own thing. Like one's playing, one's gaming right now, and the other one's playing Beat Saber. Yeah. So they're both of them playing video games. Um, like, it's Friday night, bro. <laughs> I know. Bruh. Where's my sound bites? I need to get. I need. To, I need to get that stuff set back up. It's Friday night, but we're with y'all right now, so we can't Hanging watch the videos. Hanging out with y'all first. <laughs> Fando. Fan Fandorian Fridays. <laughs> I like that one. The Fandorian Fridays. <laughs> We should do a Mandalorian style kind of t-shirt with D DTF, DT, DWTM, Mandalorian holding a beer mug. Well, did you tell them that you got the helmet in the mail, but you bought it? Yeah, it's coming from China. It's stupid. It might, it might show up in January, February. Find out. I told uh, them to spend the It's going to show up from China on my front door. Probably sit in my garage for a week before I open that package. <laughs> Why didn't you just buy the other one? Uh, I bought the one from GameStop. So the other one that I wanted from GameStop that DGV got is uh, the one that's the prototype Boba Fett one. I think it's a white one. It's got the lens. They sold out. But you bought it. To, no, I went to go buy it. No, sold out. Oh. Um, so that one sold out. I missed out on that one. Uh, but I did get the black uh, Star Trooper one. Well, uh, we wanted to wear Stormtrooper. Wow. So the Stormtrooper one's cool because I wanted to buy one so I could wear it. The Stormtrooper one's cool because it has a voice change. I know that's why I want to wear it. Yeah. So we're getting, we're still getting two helmets. But one only we one order, voice change. Yeah, only one's got the voice change. The one from China's got nothing. And buy the other one. 
<laughs> well, what was that one that they had in, in stock over here? It was the oh, red and white one. Yeah, it was the red and, red and white Stormtrooper, Stormtrooper one. Or the yeah. one. Uh, they had that one in stock here at the store. It's I'm going to go buy it. I'm going to go camp out. Have you guys seen pictures of people camping out? One guy brought an air mattress with a comforter, four comfy little pillows, and was like passed out. Passed out completely. And they like people were snapping pictures of him. He was out like a light right in front of GameStop. Mm -hmm. Hopefully uh, nobody... Mess no, with nobody him messed with him. It was him and then another dude was asleep in a cot right next to him. Yeah. And then like that's some people in chairs and they stuff. They were camping but out. They I have never camp ever out. camped out for any Black Friday. I mean, I worked Black Friday and that was a night. <laughs> He's so watching it for the third time. Are you wearing your helmet while you're watching it? That's that's the you only can't way. See the that's the only way. Oh, we watched the last time with the helmet on. You can. It's got it's got little viewports. I need more of a peripheral. <laughs> And get the whole shot. I need to get the whole shot. <laughs> but yeah, um, I mean that'd be cool. Do we could do a dual stream setup uh, where we play WoW or something, and we're both wearing helmets. It'd be fun. You can if I play motion. WoW, I'm gonna have to get the night elf uh, ears. <laughs> you should the night elf oh. ears, and then I'll do my hair, and then I can do the green makeup, and so I could look like my night elf when I do it. It'd be a lot of work I would do time it, live. It'd be funny though. <laughs> I mean, I'd probably do it starting in the cool, morning. Like, really cool. Just do like Friday night streams or whatever, Saturday night streams where you're Because I'll be working from home for the next yeah. don't know when. Um, I got a new assignment. So I'm leaving Wednesday, going to College Station for like a little training sesh, meeting the team. And then I'll be doing all my stuff from home. So I'll be here all the yeah. time. You know the the crazy part is that I realized this today and I've always been curious how these guys are streaming with 15, 20,000 viewers and the chat's barely moving. Um, or it's moving a little bit, but it's not moving like it should with that bots. many viewers. And so, yeah, I was like, these guys have to, they have to have view bots because I even noticed that sometimes whenever they play like Warzone, the 50,000, 60,000 viewers, and then they go and do something else like sports or something like that, and they got 20,000 viewers. I'm like, that's a huge, huge drop right. in viewership, right? Um, but then I noticed uh, today, I went to one of these streamers' channels today, and they're offline, and they still had 15,000 people watching them. So they had their bot activated when they weren't even on. I was just like, how? How is this? Is that possible to have that though? Have a bot, like well, so two bots and that's what, that's what we're trying to figure out because it's technically illegal to be bot viewed. And, but there are legal ways to go about it from what I hear. And this is, I don't know how true this stuff is, but I was told So you by, need to say allegedly. By, but I was, yeah, allegedly. For purposes, you need to always say allegedly. Allegedly, I was told that they allegedly embed their videos in a one pixel format. Uh -huh. on a web page uh, and produces 15,000 views by an alleged embed because an embed apparently is not an illegal um, not an illegal view bot okay so an embed is an, is a legal way of viewing somebody's stream without being banned for buying bots to watch your stream so basically they found sense yeah. Allegedly, they found a loophole. Allegedly. And I was talking to a friend of mine that's big in the esports industry today about it. And he was saying that that it's, he's not even sure how they do it. And he made the comment and he's like, I don't know, you're the dev, man. You're supposed to know this stuff. And, and I just, it's been bugging my mind most of the day trying to figure out like, how did these guys figure out to embed a one by one pixel by one pixel into a web page and have somebody have that page open. And it was like, so if you have a one by one, a one pixel by one pixel embed, and say you have a hundred people watching this and there's 3000 embeds on that web page. Mm -hmm. That's, that's like, that's like 300,000 viewers, you know? And so you have 3000 and you do 10 people. That's 30,000 viewers right there, right? So you got 10 people watching this web page. It's got a one pixel, one pixel. It doesn't make sense to me. It's like, I don't understand. But the, I guess the other side of it too is like the, the 
uh, authenticity of it all is kind of messed up because now you're you've got all these viewers to make sure you're on the top of the list but you're actually not you actually don't have that many people watching and i think it would be hard for me as a streamer to be like yo what's up i got twenty thousand people watching it's called integrity yeah, you know what I'm saying? it's like i got twenty thousand people watching me and knowing that i really don't like i couldn't do that well some people are just too concerned about the numbers and not really concerned about the content and and the impact that they're making with that content so it just it just makes it seem unfortunately to all these kids out there this streamer that is probably not very good and not very entertaining has all these viewers it's like well hey i could go do that and then they start trying to do it and they get you know discouraged because yeah. they maybe they're more entertaining and they don't have as many views and they're like well, what's wrong why am i not getting yeah. all these views you know and it's i mean we've seen people try and try and try to stream to make money to be big streamers and not make it and then they get completely discouraged and they just go off the wall yeah it's crazy you know so i always tell people it doesn't matter if you have 50 people watching you or one person watching you just do it because you love to do it that's it right. just do it because you love to do it and you think that the content that you're putting out there might benefit somebody or might entertain that's all you need to worry about don't worry about the views yeah, if you're entertaining and you can put out good content. I mean, we've had podcasts where we literally had nobody watching. But we did a podcast anyway. Yeah, because because we like to put the content out there. Have fun with it. Uh, and then the plus side of it too is to make sure you, you know, you're diversifying and not just on one thing and you're not in a, right. you're not putting content on one spot. And we tried the Facebook so. thing, guys, and let me tell you, I'm not impressed. We tried to do one show on Facebook and it just didn't go as smoothly as we wanted it to go. Um, the viewership wasn't there, even though we have a lot of people that follow us on Facebook. It was very hard to see who was watching, who was not watching. Um, the interaction was, it just, it wasn't, it didn't do it for me. Like I much yeah. rather be on Twitch than on Facebook. And for some people, Facebook works amazing. Yeah. You know, and but for us, it just wasn't. I think wasn't a big fun. part of it for me was that I, it was a big learning curve. So I didn't know how, Yeah. I didn't know what to do with it and stuff right like that but i think at the same time there's there's viewers that it works way better for them like mm -hmm. i have a friend that's on facebook and he's growing up big time on facebook but so that's the thing you can't be uh, scared to try something new i mean we did yeah i mean we tried it but it was like we tried it's not for us it. i mean it, it works great for my friend absurd he streams on facebook now and he's you know getting the viewership that he's there and he's entertaining he's one of those guys that just goes off and starts screaming for anything that he gets upset with and He's really fun to watch, uh, really fun to play with. <laughs> so we triggered like, his inner Letter Kenny. If y'all haven't watched Letter Kenny, it's hilarious. You probably ever watched it. Allegedly. Allegedly. Um, Letter Kenny is funny. It's a good show. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think you have to make content because you enjoy it. You have to be in front of this camera because you enjoy it. You enjoy it. If, if you're doing it for the wrong reason, if you're doing it to make money, then you're not, you're never gonna make it. You're never gonna make it. Yo. What up, Pachinko? Thanks for coming by this weekend. We saw your video you posted. I think he was live today too. Yeah, something. I didn't get an alert. You need to maybe set up your alert system or something, but I was looking for you today on Twitch. I saw him post something or something. I don't remember where I saw it. I saw you went live today on Twitch. Um, hope you had a good stream today. Um, I mean, I don't know. It's crazy. If if creating content, the hardest part, in my opinion, is being genuine and authentic and entertaining at the same time. Uh, but as you know, what was brought to my attention this weekend was that some people just like to watch streamers that don't really talk and just play the game. Yeah, that was a good conversation. Chill. It's crazy then, to hear that from different people. Like yeah. we had a difference of age. Yeah. So we had the the demographic was there. So we had a different age group. So we had somebody that was my age versus somebody that was younger, like teenagers versus someone in their twenties, and they all like to watch different types of streamers. Yeah. The quiet streamer that just focuses, and all you're focusing on is the game and what they're doing and their strategy, or the entertaining entertainment type of gamer that is laughing and cracking jokes and just being silly and. That's or kind talking of cool. through every moment, through moment. And, yep. and screaming and throwing his keyboard across the room. I can't um, do that. Like I can't. There, I've gotten there. 
there's been a few games in Warzone where I just start over over excitement or surrealness of like the I I just I just killed that whole team. What? Uh, you know, Viejo is funny because he'll kill a whole team and he's like, all right, let's go next one. <laughs> next no, one. Nonchalant. Like, we just destroy these guys and you're just like, all right, let's, next let's one. Go. Next. <laughs> I mean, but that's how he is. He's so he's so chill and laid back with it. And that's why he's so good at it. Uh, or sometimes I get overexcited and then I end up getting destroyed. But um, yeah, I mean, it's fun either way. I think I think I think that's the biggest thing was that there is that farm, so it's boring. <laughs> well, there is that different. I think <laughs> the worst what stuff. Is, that's what kind of stinks about the DMCA stuff, right? Is you can't just like stream and play and listen to whatever you want to listen to. Uh, without getting like DMCA for it, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, because if I if I mean if I was streaming, I would obviously be playing my favorite music, which would be yeah copyright. Yeah. So there's like bit. ways around it, and and it kind of stinks because the way the only ways around it are is you stream, you listen to whatever you want to listen to, but you don't record it, you don't keep a copy of it on your channel, and you don't allow people clip your channel i oh, see that's um so then you just have no content you have nothing on your channel right you you and that's what happens to me i think that's what happened to me with um so, my sea of thieves it didn't show up on my yeah because it's just not saved it didn't um, save it and so that's what i'm saying like and so you could set it up that way and you can listen to whatever you want to listen to but it's crazy because it's getting to the point now where they're like oh make sure you have the music muted in the game or you make sure you have the audio muted on your now can they get it if i have it muted but i'm singing along even though my voice is probably horrible but i'm saying all the lyrics i don't know haha -ha. i i think so we will sing to you on so my horrible. stream i mean I think... it may not sound great but i will sing every single verse of every I think if our friend pennywise Tooth song that i'm going to be playing in the background muted <laughs> i think if our friend tooth Pete was here he'd probably be able to answer that or screw either one um because i'll do that if i'm streaming or something well not even if i'm streaming if i'm gaming and I'm listening to a really good song, I'll sing along to it as I'm... Yeah. I talk to myself a lot, though. I think that's where the littlest one gets it. I narrate, even though nobody's so watching me, I'll sit there and narrate so, the whole game. And... She's so entertaining. Yeah. Uh, to sit there and watch. And it's just, it's insane. Because you can watch her, and she'll sit there and stream. And then it's like... Um, Is this a fidget toy? Yes, yeah, so it's a fidget toy. And so she's so entertaining to watch. I like Mr. Toys. Fun. Me and my daughter will sit there and watch the littlest one sit there and she's a trip. and call things out and do things. And it's just so funny. It's really She'll so funny. She'll sit there and go, what are you doing? Where do you think you're going? You're going the wrong direction. <laughs> She'll yell at so people. So funny. She's funny to watch. I like watching her play. It's definitely entertainment. She's very animated whenever she... um games too. There we go. Wow. What was that all about? <laughs> I wanted to give uh, subs to the people. Very nice. Um, nice. Y'all got some subs. Got subs. You just so, got gifted some subs. That's awesome. But yeah. We are in the Thanksgiving mood. Yep. You can what? You can hum the Google <laughs> look it up on the song. I'm speaking of humming. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. You can hum. Yeah. yeah. I I probably wouldn't be able to hum very well. I would start singing either way. That's funny. Yeah. So we have a yum box, a universal yum box from Russia. We haven't opened it yet because we were waiting to do a stream. We could open it right now. We could open it right now so you guys can see what's in it. So I'm curious to Should see what this. Yeah, I'm curious to see what Russians eat. I'm gonna blur that out later. Y'all are more than welcome to come to our office and hang out anytime. I do have guns and a camera. Um What is this? So Russia. Welcome to Russia. So off we go to Russia. Oh, what? There's like a team score in here now. What? So, oh, you can rate them. Scoreboards. So there's like this scoreboard they added. Oh. Uh, or you can fill it out and then kind of go down this thing. And uh, it's got yeah. a recipe in here for Russian pancakes. Russian. Rus Russians are apparently obsessed you know with extra thin pancakes. So they actually had a recipe. 
We'll screenshot it and send it to you guys on Twitter. For thin pancakes, like Russian style thin pancakes. My absolute favorite drink is from Russia. It's one of my favorite drinks. Vodka? It's like a Dr. Pepper. Oh, it's like a soda. I don't even know what it's called. I had a friend bring me one and I was like, so good. Is it this? Does it look like a Dr. Pepper? Yeah. Kvass? Yeah. I think it's a it. non-alcoholic beverage made from fermented rye bread. Yeah, I think that's, that's disgusting. It. It's so good. It is oh, so, so good. That just sounds exactly crisps. 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 But Russians call it something else. That's what they call it. I'm not going to try to even try to pronounce any of this stuff. I cannot read Russian. Blini? This is called a blini. There's these things. What are those things? Cheese crackers. Oh my. Mark those letters backwards. Um, what is it? Those are called. Sovietsky cheese potato chips. I can read Russian. Cheese, cheese potato chips, ladies and gentlemen. It's they, they're called the devil's apple. Potato. They call them the devil's apple. Some mushroom fruit pollens. I bet you I'm gonna have to try those because you don't like this mushrooms. This is gonna be uh for your plane ride in your door. Um so they buy, they get those apparently in Siberia, the mushrooms. Of course, the normal yum bag. Yeah, that's got like yeah. candies and stuff in it. Like, like random varieties. stuff. Oh, check this out. What is that? Milk pear chocolate. Ooh. Milk pear chocolate. I gotta keep remembering to move over. Um, but yeah. It's basically a chocolate bar with gooey pear filling. So. I'm willing to try that one. Um. Zow. That is hazelnut cream in a sugar cone shell. I mean, that looks really good. It's called a white chocolate and hazelnut cream wafer. Ugh. I'll eat that one. Um, yep, that thing. <laughs> that is a nut and milk chocolate wafer. It's Russia's soft, softest, nuttiest, cakiest thing ever. Softest, nuttiest. And cakiest. cakiest. I didn't know cakiest was a word. Uh, is cakiest the word? I have no idea. Doesn't seem like it'd be a word. This looks like a snicker bar. Is it a snicker bar? No. <laughs> I guess that is right. boiled milk and chocolate cake. Look at the look at the face. The face is for you guys. That's a creepy ass baby. <laughs> Say hello. <laughs> That's hello creepy. to the face. That is a creepy baby. Oh yeah, there's no autofocus. It's probably super blurry for everybody, but yeah. I turn autofocus off. Because the lights go off crazy, the focus messes up on the cameras. Because exclamation rainbow in chat will uh, yeah. do that. So which one are you going to try? Are we going to try the hazelnut balls? Did you say hazelnut balls? <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> That's what they're called. Hazelnut balls. Joe Bob got a free sub. DGB got a free sub. Red I'm going to see what's in real. I got a free sub. The sauce boss got a free see, sub. Look. Hazelnut balls. Hey. Those are hazelnut balls. There's some hazelnut balls. Coconut and hazelnut. All right. There's nothing in here that's like, I don't think that's too gross to do. Uh, the mushroom ones. The donation bet on. What was it we did last time? We bet that there? you would not eat the that sushi, sushi bar. bar. <laughs> Bro, I, I had that taste in my mouth. I don't know for how long. It was this weird sushi bar fish cake. Viejo yeah, was like, here's 10 bucks, it eat the whole thing. It was disgusting. Viejo yeah. yeah, was like, eat this whole thing. So what are we going to try for uh, Mother Russia? Uh, we got to try something. What do you want to try first? I We're going to try it all. Chocolate, so. You want to try this milk pear? Dunkenshine. Dunkenshine. <laughs> um, milk pear. Our friend's from Germany. He comes to visit us every now and then. He was supposed to be here uh, last month. So sad, Daniel, that you couldn't come see us. We miss you. Yeah, he's probably passed out cold right now. Um, all right, so here you go. Here's your but first one. But every time one. Daniel comes, he always brings me um, original Haribo. Uh, I thought you were going to say something else. Got me embarrassed. You're dirty. Original hair. Haribo. Mm, really good. Different. No, I like that. Mm. It's like a pear jelly. Yeah. Where we tried that one. 
One to ten, what do you score, for, score that? I give that an eight. A seven for me. I like the, the chocolate is really milky. It's it really good. That's so why I give it an eight. But the pear... I wonder if the chocolate's still from Hershey. No. I mean, for the longest time, Hershey was the only... You're not saying Hershey correctly in Russian. Hershey. 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 I have... Hershey. Probably not even correctly either. No. Um, Calories are in this. This is a coated candy wafer with cocoa cream filling and nuts. I love how they have to add the English translated... Yes, they do. ...nutritions onto the label. I'm glad they do. Uh, so you can see if there's any allergies or something here, like allergic stuff. This one doesn't have translation. Um, this one's literally got a sticker on it. It's got the translation. This one doesn't have jack. So hopefully I'm not allergic to anything. So this thing is 210 calories. This is a meal. The hell is here, guys. Look it up. Um, You're not gonna try it? I'll try it. I'll try these. A piece. I don't think you can try a piece. This we'll like try a, a piece. It's melted like beyond belief. Oh no no. Oh no no. Oh no no. This is gonna be a hot mess. It smells Wait, really good. Are they doing um subscription? It kind of smells like a. Use what I just saw. Like a Kit Kat. For real though, it smells like a Kit Kat. Oh, they're doing a ten percent off if you subscribe for three months. Oh, that's good. Is it? Let me try it. No. Let's see a bite. It's disgusting. I'm wrong. All right, guys, I'm not gonna try it. Um. It's good. It's like a Kit Kat. It's like a Kit Kat. It really is. I like the chocolate on this one. I'd give this one a probably a seven. I don't know what this thing is though. Same thing. Should we try this one next. Or do you want to like? Let's go um, try these salty chips or let's go salty crackers or those are potato chips. Potato chip from Russia, guys. I'm all about this stuff. It's got a weird smell. <laughs> Let, me see what it, Let me see what they're made out of. Cause, uh, I hope they're still good. They probably are. So That's when potatoes weird. were imported from America in the 1700s, the Russians gave them the sinful name Devil's Apple because of their odd shape. Little do they know that Tsar Nicholas would order potato planting in the 1850s, paving the way for modern Russians to use them practically in everything. So, vodka, potato chips. It doesn't taste that good, does it? Try it. <laughs> you have to make your own decision. Not influence. That's like weird cheese. Is it cheese? Yeah, it's 100% cheese. It's got um. It smells like they're cheddar cheese. Got a weird cheesy taste to it. Not bad. I prefer Ruffles. Yeah, I do too. I'd give it a six out of ten. I'd probably give it a five. Mushroom crouton. I know, I know, right? Like you still want to eat them. We're not, we're not, we're not that drunk, guys. I promise. Speak for yourself. That, that was my second drink. Who else is having a drink? What are you guys drinking? What are you drinking, guys? What are you? Is drinking? anybody drinking beer? Y'all drinking some wine, coffee? I mean. I messed this wrapper up. How does that even happen? Let me see. When How you... does that happen? What'd you do? It's like partially ripped open one little spot. <laughs> oh my god, what did you do? I don't know how that happens. You can't break it apart. It's just, it's there. Just live with it. Okay, fine. So if I... Pull the knife out. There you go, done. Tell me I can't do anything. She did it, guys. She figured it out. It doesn't smell like anything, so it's scary. You smell the bag? The bag smells like something. Nope. I don't like this. <laughs> no. I don't have anything to drink. And now we need more drinks. Waiter! Oh, we don't have a waiter. Yeah, it's gross. I almost wanted another one. I so I got sting. Oh my god. That aftertaste. Nah. No. Maharaja. Maharaja from Avery. Maharaja. Drinking some hot black tea. Hot you know what, black tea. That sounds great right now because that tasted like 
feet? What do they like? Feet? Yes. <laughs> it tastes like feet. It tastes like some feet. <laughs> That's disgusting. Mushroom, mushroom croutons, guys. Gross. All right, this next one isn't like mushroom, but a crouton. Like, I like mushroom with like some gouda and mac and cheese. This is a wafer. It's a weird look, a wafer. Split. Those we split in her. You can split it however many pieces you want. Good kitty. That one. I'll eat this one all day. It's because you like that creamy filling. <laughs> Got some creamy filling to it. It's got that crunch. It's got two crunchy bars in it like a Twix. That's pretty good. That one is really good. I give this one a nine. Yeah, I mean, I'll give it a nine or ten. We're going to open all these and not even eat them all, guys. It's no, you just come with the pack. I'm glad you guys aren't here with the film deal. Have everybody in chat. So this one's got chocolate. Chocolate is that the coated. creepy baby one? Yes, this is the creepy baby one. Creepy baby one. Creepy baby. I wanted to see what that one was about. It's got... Hi, Lulu. It's like chocolate. It's like a... Flip shadow. It's like a... It's those cakes that I like, the zebra cakes. It's like a zebra cake type, like, feeling. Go lay down your bed. Oh, wow. So if you haven't seen our newest member, Oh, I need some drink. There's some shadow. You'll probably see him a lot on stream because he'll be walking around up here or he'll be um, meowing. Yeah, right, baby. A oh, shadow. You smell all the goodies we have up here. I'm thinking about all the starving kids in Russia. Yeah, they wish they had all this chocolate. I could ship it back to them. You want some of this chocolate. That's what you're smelling. You got a good nose, kid. You cannot have chocolate. This is like a dark chocolate. Holy hell. Hmm. Hmm. I'd give that a 10 for sure. That one's super good. That one's really good. I like that one. Hey, Shadow, are you filling in for Tuner? Hmm? Are you filling in for Tuner? Huh? Is that where you're chilling here? Yeah, some of these guys, we'll probably end up shipping them back because gross. <laughs> um, this one's like a dark chocolate. What do you make with eggnog? Rum, um, right? Rum? We have That's some. Funny. Yeah, we do. Where? I did not rum. find any rum. I didn't see any rum. I know, I 100% I, I didn't like that one. I like this one. I give it a 10. I like dark chocolate. Two. Oh. Two. Really? That's why I had to go get a drink. I, could, I had to wash it down. Two. Uh-uh. You're crazy. Negative for me on right. that one. Then you try the cocoa. Think about all the starving kids in Russia. This one's got coconut. You don't like coconut, right? I do like coconut. This one's coconut. Oh, wow. It's even got like a... Like a fancy gold wrapper. It's fancy, guys. What are those kids doing? Making popcorn and drinks. They're not drinking alcohol, just so you guys know. Ooh. How is it? <laughs> Your face made a negative, too. I'm good. I think it was good. I wonder where they got their coconut from. I'm getting down with that one. They don't have coconuts in Russia. Philippines? Thailand. Thailand? Yeah. This was the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't have a coconut on it, though. It's it's good. Good. I didn't see it. Oh, my bad. Then I shouldn't open this one. 
I'll leave this one for later. I like up. this one. I like this one. So my favorite one is the one you gave a negative. Yeah. The face gave a negative. Too. You need more for me then. This thing is like, it looks like a little zebra cake. No, man. Can't do it. I can't believe we don't even run. And also, you said we had Knob Creek in there. Knob Creek in there, right? Hey, mom's here. That face was funny. Face is very funny. I'm drinking our favorite. The eggnog. I don't have any rum. I was going to put any rum in it. Put some rum. You want me to go find you some rum? I didn't see any rum. You can go see if you can find the rum. I didn't see any rum. Do you care what kind of rum? Uh, no. White rum, dark rum. I have no idea what what, what kind of rum's good with with eggnog. Dark rum. I mean, what do we have? Is the question. Whatever we have. I'll go look. Ooh, a rum chata. You think you I'm gonna rum. make that next time. You just buy rum chata and eggnog. It's sugar, cinnamon, and eggnog. A cup of rum chata. And rum. You make the eggnog, and then you add the rum chata. I didn't know rum chata was the actual thing. First and next, what did I just tell you? <laughs> yeah, it's eggnog with rum chata. Dark rum. Dark, Dark rum is the good rum. All right, hold on. I have to, um, I have to hook have my mom up. Go? Yeah, go see if you can find some rum. Try not to I'm gonna hook my mom up. And I'm gonna get a brief. We can run the cat over. No, he's cute. He's like, like 15 lives. He's our other co-host. Um, I broke this. Watch this, mom. This is really cool. You are now going to get a subscription to our channel. Thanks to me. How cool is that? Um, everybody, that's my mom. She's really cool. Um, but yeah, we um, tried some Russian snacks. What else was in this thing? Did you see? Is there any other... This is the normal stuff, the little normal candies. There's only four candies in here. This is called a a fruit friend. It's like a it's like a laffy taffy kind of a texture or consistency. It's like a little thing here. It's called a fruit friend. Uh, it doesn't even say. Keshuka, Keshuka plus um, Gavavava Ifui Fai. I have no idea what that says, chat. It's it's probably way too small for you to read, but no clue what that says. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I love my Russian drink. Need to get me one of those. Need to get some more of those. There's only there's like a, there's a couple of Russian stores here in Houston area, but Kvass is one of my favorite Russian drinks. Um, I've had that from a friend of mine. His name is uh, uh, Vadim. I don't think his legal name anymore. He's now American citizen and changed his name. I don't know what his name is, but anyways, or his new name is, I know what his original name is. Uh, he's a really cool dude, but so what else is good? Are we gonna play some games this weekend? You guys got plans? You guys get all your Christmas shopping done? I know that we've got a big chunk of ours done, if not all of it, and maybe one or two things left to get. We like to get a super, super early head start of everything. Uh, we got the Santa letters written, getting those mailed out to Santa. I think December 1st, the little elf on the shelf lady comes up comes back Jim that's right Jim but um yeah I mean I love that we're back on Twitch you move the camera up a little bit because she likes the camera up high uh got all the lights all set up got some more lights coming soon I'm waiting on some uh tape i want some white tape to put on the shelves up there there's like a, a gap between the shelves and it bugs me it's like a very very small gap because i like it's less than an eighth of an inch 
but I want to cover it up with some white tape so it just it's not visible on the stream. Um, otherwise, like I would make this this view of us really big, and it would be just like you know I could be able to make a scene where it's like we zoom out and it's like the whole office and you see everything. It'd be really cool. Um, yeah, she's going to get some rum. I'm gonna try and throw some rum in here and finish this eggnog off. I think it's about empty. Not, nah, I mean, I'll finish it off tonight. We're gonna watch The Mandalorian tonight. Get caught up on that. I think we're, I mean, if it's, we're caught up. We just, today's episode that dropped today, we haven't watched that yet. And so we're gonna watch that as well. And I think, guys, we are listening to uh, Sharon Beats. So, SharonBeats.com. He's providing the music for this uh, stream, this podcast. So, guys could check him out he does some free copyright free music for everybody if anyone's looking for some stream music it's really good music to just kind of have in the background playing chilling filming up dead sound things like that uh destiny haven't played much of that gonna get back into that soon as well as get back into a lot more call of duty because i'm really addicted to call of duty right now and that's my game so i've been playing a lot of that with viejo yeah. if you guys are all game for um, Call of Duty we should definitely play this episode is a game changer I'm very very curious what are you doing and adding rum to the list okay yeah so we're out of rum we'll add some rum to these decided to create a new drink so now we have a new drink uh, first DGB said the episode for tonight is a big game changer all caps so really why what's up we will have to watch and find out and see what's going on I don't want any spoilers <laughs> so okay we'll find out tonight when we watch the episode and then we can talk actually we could do that we can start talking about the episode on our monday stream and so if mm. you want maybe monday is, is our uh follow-up kind of give Let's everybody the whole follow. weekend give everybody the whole weekend yeah, to, to catch up watch or... the episode see what they think and hopefully we get our helmets in we can wear our helmets that'd be awesome fun no spoil zone yeah I don't mind spoilers, but somebody does. Mm -hmm. We made a new drink, so. What's a new drink? This one is, I'm going with the cran apple okay. thing, right? I love cranberry and apple. So I did the the crown apple liquor, but I did lemonade instead of cranberry juice. Okay. How is it? Tastes like pear. Pears? Nice. That's awesome. I mean, you've had eggnog. It tastes like pear. You can smell it, and it 100% does. It's like a pear. It like tastes like juice. Pear. That's wild. Isn't that cool? That's wild. I have to drop the recipe on Twitter for that one. That's Country wild. time lemonade and apple crown. That's and it. Ice. And ice. That's, That's it. it. I make wow. it easy. I make drinks easy so you have minimal supplies like you just get a bottle of crown apple and you can do cranberry juice you can do pineapple juice you can do it with water with watermelon juice you can do it with um lemonade and it will change your changes of flavor That's it's really good i like it well is that it is that all we have for today oh yeah uh oh boo boo Sorry, we're gonna talk about more stuff but what else do you want to talk about is there something else i mean i mean i i wanted to talk about the um like holiday gifts and stuff, but we already did that. Yeah, we did. We covered all that already. So, well, I appreciate you guys all for hanging out. Uh, <laughs> she said, "Yum, heck yeah!" Yeah, it's the so best. Definitely try it's it. It's super cheap and easy. That's the way I like it. We had that big thing of Country Time powder, so then I took the automatic stir for the coffee, make foam, and yeah. I just used that to stir it up. That's awesome. Made lemonade real quick, put it in the crown, good to go. It was really, really good. So now on my list, I gotta put dark rum. We gotta get some rum chata. Uh, more eggnog. More eggnog. And then what else? We gotta make something fancy for for the holidays. Like yeah. I wanna do like a sparkling. We need to get a tree tea. and put back here. Ooh. Right, you guys, guys think we should do a tree? Let's put a tree behind us. Can we do a Star Wars tree? I mean, if that's a thing. You could buy all the Star Wars. Um, they have the ornaments. 
We could do a Star Wars tree. I mean, it could be a super small tree. It doesn't need to be huge. No, but we could do a Star Wars tree. Like, I want to do a Star Wars tree. That was a bad, was a bad move searching for that. Because now it has Stormtrooper trees. <laughs> There's all kinds. Of it's funny though, because some of these people literally just took Star took regular Christmas trees, uh, and they just like took a white Christmas tree and put a white Stormtrooper helmet on the top as a tree top, and then they took a, a black Christmas tree, put a cape on it. Do they and, have the Death um, Star uh, tree topper? I don't know. See now, sure. th y'all, that's a bad move to even mention put a tree in here, because now I'm gonna have to hit up Amazon and start. I mean, buy. Oh, I want that. I yeah, start tree topper. That <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. So everybody's already got the kids already got the gifts. Start right? tree topper. The kids are They're watching. Okay. So Santa, Santa. We're gonna get Santa letters sent out. Santa letters are gonna get sent out. So Santa's got us covered. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm sorry, babies, but we're gonna get a tree. Mm -hmm. Um, I need to get some uh some stormtrooper figurines. That's what I need to get. You should have Santa. Blacked out, t blacked out tree with a Death Star ornaments and a Darth Vader tree topper. I want the child on the top of my tree. The child. Can I have the child? Seriously, if you think about it, it's like the child. I want the child on the top of my tree. We could put the child in a wreath. I want that t-shirt too. The child t-shirt? Yeah. I want that t-shirt. Oh yeah. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll start looking for trees now, guys. Get the background festive for you guys and put some Christmas lights up and stuff like we that. We did the inside of the house part of it. I still have a couple more ideas to decorate in the house that like I can I usually go all out because as a kid, like at my house, my mom never decorated for any holidays. Um, we really did celebrate Thanksgiving. We didn't really, we celebrated Christmas, but it was just like you put a tree up, put some stockings. We didn't even have stockings. Put a tree up and that was it. Um, Rainbow, he just changed the lights. So I used to go um, to my friend's houses and their moms were, it's like a Hallmark movie when you walk in the door to their house. Their house was always decorated, it was always pretty. So I always wanted to make sure that my kids had somewhat decorative for the for, for like the season. You know, throughout the whole month of December, I want them to be able to come in the house and it smells like Christmas and it looks like Christmas and you know, it just makes you feel good. Yeah. We could definitely do it. That's the thing. So we're almost there. House is almost done. Yeah, guys, we'll uh, we'll get set up. So I just did the lights. So what I did was I changed the lights to this theme, and then it cycles. Oh, away. and so the cat is enjoying like the lights. Let's see the cat right there, chilling there, cleaning himself. Mr. Shadow, bud. Hey, what are you doing <laughs> up there, bro? Bro, get down. Yo, he's enjoying the lights. Yo, the thank you for the follow, Dylan the Texan. What's up, Dylan? What's up, Dylan? Thanks for coming by. Sorry we're about to end the stream, man. Yeah. Um, about to call it a night. Yep. Yeah. We're gonna go watch uh, Mandalorian. Yeah, so we're gonna go have a If you guys have not watched it, watch it. Tune back in on Monday. I gotta get rid of this cat before he climbs on my computer. Oh, let me grab him. <laughs> but, uh... But he's just I hope he doesn't disconnect the internet. That'd no. be hilarious. Hey. He's fine. Here you go. Get your butt over here. Um Oh Slaney. Jerome. But uh yeah, watch the Mandalorian this weekend if you guys can. Follow back up Monday. We'll see you guys at eight or do you want a nine? Maybe we'll do eight, eight again. Eight on eight Monday. On Monday. Uh, right here on twitch.tv forward slash tuners, or sorry, forward slash drinks with the Martins. Why don't you plug your own stream uh, there, bud? Forward slash tuners edge, forward slash scooby snacks. You guys can follow us over on Twitch and Twitter, um, as well as Instagram. Instagram as well. So I'm always on Instagram. Instagram. But be here Monday. I just we'll... be here. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it's <was> hot. <laughs> yeah, we will talk about all the stuff that. Um, that's on the men learning show on Monday at eight. Uh, hey, dad, uh, mom and dad are here both watching. Hi, dad, hi, mom. And so, yeah, we're gonna watch the episode. We want to see. We we're super excited for it. Uh, I'm just, I, I'm addicted to that show like a thousand percent. I, I, love I could it. watch it over and over and over and over. Uh, just like as as DBG, DGB said, he's watched it three times already. So yeah. it just dropped yesterday. 
So um, we're going to watch that. You guys drop in on Monday, 8 p.m. Central. We'll be live again. And then, then following from there, Thursdays at 8 p.m. We do have a episode where we are going to go to the uh, brewery in Humble, or in, sorry, in Kingwood, Texas. There's a brewery there called uh, Megaton. Uh, Megaton Brewery. Uh, they have some awesome gear and awesome, uh, awesome, awesome beer. Um, we're going to go and we'll probably do an episode there. I have not found out if we're able to do a live stream from there yet, but if anything, we'll have it pre-recorded. It'll drop on our YouTube channel. So if you guys don't follow us on YouTube, please do that and drop a subscribe on YouTube. We're also going to try and drop these videos every day after on YouTube uh, and probably get over on Spotify as well. But I really appreciate everybody for hanging out. Um, thanks for stopping by. Enjoy your drinks. And have a great weekend, guys. Cheers, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Bye, everybody.